Hello everyone and welcome to the Shibuya Archery Pro Shop here in Tokyo, Japan. Uh, today I want to give you just a little tip uh, about using our recurve bow cases uh, since we have had some questions on our social media about it. Um, we are going to look at uh, both the RBT 1000 EX uh, recurve bow case as well as the slightly larger uh, transporter uh, 56.5 liters. Um, both of these uh, bow cases have the same kind of lock system. So you have latches uh, on the top and bottom that you can open and then you have a dial lock here in the middle. Uh, and uh, in general, uh, you would use the latches just to close it uh, for transport locally. And then you would use the dial lock uh, if you're traveling with it. The dial lock can of course uh, be set to a custom uh, combination that you can just choose for yourself. Uh, at ship time, uh, they are all set to uh, zero, zero, zero. And uh, we'll open one of these up and uh, we'll go over how to set the custom combination. Okay, so we've got this uh, transporter bow case on the table now. Um, you can see the dial lock is factory set to zero, zero, zero. Uh, you can see this is a TSA approved lock. Uh, so you can take it on uh, flights uh, into or inside the USA without any trouble. Uh, so the TSA officers will be able to open this without breaking your locks. That's also why there is a keyhole right here. Um, this bow case does not come with any keys provided. Uh, this is only for TSA use. Um, so uh, whenever the TSA uh, officers want to inspect your gear, uh, they just open this with a key. Um, so they don't have to know the number, you, they just open it up with the key right here. And you don't have the key, this is only for official use. Uh, so we'll open up the uh, latches on the side, and um, there's obviously two of these. And then we'll open it up and I'll show you how to set the combination lock. This is the inside of the transporter bow case. Um, you can see there's just a flat surface uh, with some sponge in there where you can place uh, two full recurve setups. Usually people just leave them inside the uh, sleeves that come provided with the riser and limbs. And then um, there's some error sponge uh, for the top compartment that you can or cannot use. Um, a lot of people prefer to use a arrow tube. Uh, so the arrow sponge in here is not glued in. Um, you can just uh, glue that in if you wish to use it, but you don't need to. All right, let's move on to the lock. All right, let's look at that lock. Uh, so you can see it's factory set to 000 right here. Uh, and then on the inside, you will find a little red spacer that you can remove. This is only to keep uh, the lock in place. Uh, so you don't uh, accidentally set the wrong combination or it doesn't set, set itself while it's actually closed. Um, what you have to do is you pull this to the right and then down and you will see it stays put in that uh, locked position here. Uh, and once that is in the down position here, um, then you can change the number on the lock. So let's just put that at... Uh One, two, and three. And now that they're all set, we will remove that block from the inside. And we'll just pull this back up and it'll snap into the left-hand position. And then we can replace this little red tab. Uh, don't worry if you uh, lose this red tab. Uh, it's only there to keep that little tab in place, uh, but it's very unlikely that it will just hook itself in the down position anyway. So even if you lose, lose this part, uh, you can still use your bookcase. All right, and uh, now the combination is set to one, two, three, and we'll close that. And uh, if we change the number, it stays locked. If we set it back to one, two, three, It'll open again. All right, and that's all there is to it. And that's how to set the lock. And that's it for a little tip about using the uh, combination lock on our recurve bow cases. I hope this was helpful for you. 
Uh, if you have any other questions about using Shibuya products, uh, feel free to leave them in the comments or send us a message on Facebook or on Instagram and uh, we'll make sure to get on that and uh, make a video about that too. All right, thank you very much for your time. Uh, I hope to see you again on this channel and uh, make sure to enjoy archery with Shibuya products.